So VTA's next network, this is a plan to redesign our transit service. This is where our bus routes go, how late they operate, which days they operate, frequency, all those sorts of things. VTA usually plans its transit service in two-year increments. And each time that two years comes up, our typical way of dealing with this is to think about well, where are we seeing difficulties in our system, where are we seeing places we could improve, and then politics gets involved. And our board of directors will say, well, my community needs more of this, or you need to do this specialized service. And after several rounds of this, you, you end up with a transit system that has so many different purposes and so many different pieces that aren't really working in harmony that the whole effectiveness of the system kind of declines. So in doing this redesign, I'm very optimistic that we can end up with something that works a lot better and is much more useful for our community. So the reason we're doing this, in fall of 2017, uh, BART service will begin to the Lapidus and various of BART stations in San Jose and Lapidus. And we're uh, expecting 23,000 trips to come through those stations every weekday. Right now, we don't have enough buses going to those stations, enough trains going to those stations to accommodate that demand. It's going to be a nightmare if we don't really redesign our system in that part of town. And that gives us this opportunity to address some other criticisms that we've been hearing. For one, our ridership is lower than it should be. We need to have more people using transit. And the other is that our fare box rate is too low. The fare box rate is the portion of our operating expenses that is paid by our bus rider fares, bus and train fares. And when I'm talking about ridership, I want you to understand that we don't have magic money to put more routes out there to let more people ride. So we have to make do with the funds that we have, use them more effectively. So we're going to be talking about a measure called productivity, which is boardings per service hour. We can increase ridership by getting that measure up. So remember that term, we'll come back to it. Our project schedule, we are just getting started. Our first official community meeting is next Monday, so you guys are kind of getting a free preview that no one else is getting. Um, we're doing this outreach for five months. In the fall, we'll take everything we've heard, share it with our board of directors, ask them to give us some policy guidance. We'll turn that into a draft network plan. And then that will again be reviewed by the public until finally in the summer of 2017, just before BART comes to town, we will adopt a final network plan. So you can see this is a community-oriented process. We have made no determinations at this point. We're a long way away from doing any of this. But if you've been reading the local media coverage of this effort, you've probably gotten a far different story. Uh, the Mountain View Voice uh, turned this effort that we're optimistic about into VTA proposes chopping routes in Mountain View. Completely false. We don't know how that got published. The Mercury News said a staggering drop in ridership signals dramatic changes. None of this is actually true. There are charts inside that article that contradict what the headline says. Scott Berhold actually had a good column on us, but the title was unfortunate, Throwing BTA Under the Bus. And if you listen to KCBS, you probably heard VTA board to vote soon on bus cuts. There is zero accurate, truthful anything in that story. So if you guys leave tonight, I want you to understand none of that is true. <laughs> Um, 